Well, folks, it's a new Indian. It's gonna be exciting. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's my Indian. But will it replace this? Let's find out. Weak on the battery. Hasn't been starting a week. Older, weaker battery. Let's see what she's got. Sounds good to me. How you doing, peeps? Today, we're talking about, well, we know what we're talking about, don't we? We're talking about the long-awaited next model from Indian. And I'm not talking about the FTR, which, as of the recording of this video, has still yet to hit the dealer floor. What we are talking about is the new 2020, you know, presumably, maybe 2021, Indian Raven. There are other names that they've trademarked for this, but I'm going to call it the Raven for the specific purpose that, amongst the other names, this seems to me like the best thing to call it. Why do I think it's the best thing to call it? Well, let's take a look at this thing. I think we can go ahead and say that it's a big bike. But why are we calling it the Raven? A Raven's not a big animal. It's not a bear. It's not a wolf. And yes, wolves are big. If you don't know, go and meet one. They're geared as shit, but they're big. You know, as a matter of fact, I think wolf actually would be kind of a cool name for this bike. Not wolf, you know, just something like with wolf in it. It's like timber wolf, dire wolf. Oh, puppy, puppy wolf. <laughs> it's nothing like Harley's where you got hogs and uh, pigs. But if you look at this bike, man, take a look at it. What do you see? I'll tell you two things I see, two things I notice right away. The first thing I notice is an upside down fork, which means, hey, kind of sporty. Second thing I notice is the Springfield Dark Horse fairing, which is the open fairing. Uh, I'm not going to get into this too much. We all know my feelings here. An Indian should look like an Indian. Dude, <laughs> that is a rev. No, Acura with the scoop. Nice, man. <laughs> Oh, it says Acura on the side, but it's a Honda. I was going to say RAV4. What is that? That's the Honda CRV, right? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Death trap. He has a Domo Goon in the mirror. That's awesome. Oh, okay. Sorry. You guys know I have a fucking love of regular cars made to not be regular. Anyways, we noticed the fork. We noticed the fender. It's supposed to be a little bit of a slimmed down machine, but what do you see most prominently? A fixed fairing. A fixed fairing from Indian. Finally, they put it on their smaller bike. And the reason I'm calling it smaller is because I think this engine will probably fit somewhere between 1400 cc's and 1600 cc's. <laughs> it's a day of puppies. Oh, <laughs> the looks of the fairing. I'm gonna say it right now. It's uh, it's real. It's looking real Harley like right now, guys. I know it's got a cover. It's looking like a Harley road king not but not road king i can't remember what it's called it's a real interesting look the fairing i'm kind of divided on but i'll tell you what else i love here's what i love i love the upside down forks love that i really love that engine guys look at the engine it kind of looks like a honda fury engine kind of had like a baby with a with an indian scout engine and that baby came out bigger what i see from this engine right away being that it's not full of cooling fans is a obviously liquid cooling and what can we infer from the engine it's definitely looking taller than an indian scout engine and it definitely looks like it's dual overhead cam liquid cooled how can you tell liquid cooling well obviously the lack of cooling fins and that wider front frame area that you kind of see exactly like you see on the scout where it holds the radiator in between great look by the way some people are divided on that. I don't mind liquid cooling. I actually prefer it. It introduces more mechanical intricacies, but you know what? <laughs> I th I'd like to think we've perfected liquid cooling by 2020. And besides, what we notice here, this is a performance-based V-twin, without a doubt. I say dual overhead cam, but it very well could be single. I just don't think it is. I could be wrong. I have been before, but I'm really excited about it. Oh, really? So the Indian Scout, it's a performance bike. It's the middleweight bike. The Indian Chief, Chieftain, and Springfield, larger heavyweight cruisers. Roadmaster, 
ultimate luxury tourer. What's missing from this? What's the competitive thing that Indian wants to compete with on Harley's side of the aisle? The Dyna. <laughs> We got some real cringy people out there, and I'm not trying to attack anyone personally. Maybe one person in particular. But we got some real cringy people out there trying to turn the Scout into a, uh, Dyna killer. And you know what? I don't think an Indian Scout has any trouble beating a Dyna, but I don't think the Indian Scout is meant to be styled after the Dyna. It's not that exact segment of the market. What the Indian Raven will be doing, again, working title, is it will be filling the blank between the Scout and the Touring bikes. Scout's a monster, man. Scout's fast. The FTR, it's not exactly what everyone's looking for. The FTR is, is its own sort of little niche thing, you know what I mean? The Indian Raven would be the bike that fills the gap between the Thunderstroke bikes to tour and the Indian Scout and FTR that seem to be more around town bikes based around performance. The Raven seems like it would be able to do some mild touring if you equip it well. And by some mild touring, I mean, you know, probably a little bit better than the Scout. Who knows though? This is a leaked photo. You know, details may change. Maybe they legitimately have like a Harley fairing attached to that thing. <laughs> and they're just trying to hide it right now. Just trying to test the waters, you know. See how all that goes. What I'm most excited about is this engine. I love the FTR engine that they've just developed, but I doubt it's meant to do the same thing that a Thunderstroke Scout hybrid would. Anyways, dudes, let's talk down in the comments about the Indian Raven. I'm kind of going a little wild about it. <laughs> Who knows if that's what they'll call it, but I kind of hope they do, you know? It's kind of a cool name. Do you like the name? Do you like the looks? I think I'm kind of liking it, as long as they change that fairing. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I got some more work to do in some game consoles. I do some console repair. Right now I need to go pick up a power supply for a PS2 uh, Mini, or Slim, I guess you'd call it. You know, not that that's what you guys came here for. There we go. Bits and pixels. Local retro gaming shop. Good peeps. But anyways, thanks for coming by, dudes. It's one of the things about having a loud engine in the city. You interrupt the music players. Guy can't play his banjo. Poor guy.